Okay, a few techniques I've been looking at for 20 odd years. <laughs> We've got a TikTok punch shown to me by Grandmaster Rich Mooney when he used to come over and do seminars in Sotry. And it's basically a short punch. You don't move the shoulder and you just dig and it goes in. And you can feel it. So there's perfectly good applications of the bar. <laughs> oh well, if you move, move the shoulder, it doesn't tend to work. What's that all about? Why does it go in? As in, it goes in, you can feel it. Then there's another technique I've been looking at for a very long time. And um, at the last seminar I went to, there's a SAS, SES guy, Mo, and he was doing some really devastating techniques. And I think it was, he did something, a headbutt, and then this on the guy's neck. Well, I use it safely on the shoulder. So if somebody stood like that, facing me, I'll hit with the center, bang, and they go that way. And I'm thinking, how, how can I have the leverage to move somebody do I just do it now? Did it this morning with Ross, boom, scuttled across. There's something to that one. Then we've got this wave, bang. Obviously the hips are doing stuff, but the, we've got the arm doing this motion. So I'm thinking, oh, also arching the back. That does stuff. So I've got that, I fell on to use information and he's talking about accessing the reptilian brain by arch in the back. Oh, and then there's rolling, hakido, aikido, judo. Then there's these techniques, which I believe some Taoist energy systems use. I believe it's done in Aikido. So the common denominator is trapezius muscle. And if you have a look, see, there's your spine, V. So I'm thinking we're getting a massive enhancement of the nervous system by doing these certain things. Um, we're talking the Dragon Society International Convention, November 1999, I believe. I noticed that Aikido guys were very resistant to centre lock. Just have to remember it. Then I'm doing a seminar of gathering at the Masters at Bridlington. And my group, some of them were resistant to centre lock. So I got them all over. I said, look, do you know why you're resistant? There's was, was about 10 people from Portugal all black belts and then, then the rest of the group. They went, no. I said, would you like to know? I said, it's because you roll. So I got everybody paired off, hitting each other on the back. So obviously you've got the bladder meridians, massive player to the game. you got your trapezius, and then everybody's resistant. Then they added a player and decked them all, which was great for my ego. Um, so this is a, a, a massive common denominator. And what we're getting is disruption. That's why this goes in. And it disrupts, I believe, the pancreas, which then affects the nervous system. So your guy will then, it'll go in, or it'll, it'll scuttle across, or you'll just break whatever you're hitting. Needs a bit more research, now we're on to it. But I'm thinking it's a very high frequency generated from either this motion or a relaxation motion coming down or a bit of both. Thank you very much.